This will be an unboxing of a PowerTech On pure sine wave inverter. It's uh, 600 continuous watts and all these other protections. I originally saw it with uh, Jehu Garcia and so I'm planning on using it with this battery over here. Um, that I made so you can see the different voltages here and this inverter is supposed to be able to go up to 16 volts um, I have another inverter here but it only goes up to like 14.5 volts so this one going up to 16 volts allows me to pull some more juice out of this battery and uh, here's the unboxing Let's see here. So, came in a bunch of different boxes and then these. So there's this thing right here. Um, let's see what's in there. Hmm. It comes with a remote power switch. Cool. So remote power switch, it seems. Remote on and off switch. Interesting. Uh, some clamps. Um, seems like they just kind of snap onto something. Just put that over there. And then this is the main part. So. side <sighs> seems pretty well packaged um, not, not too big or bulky or anything Seems like there are some more things in here, so there it is. Comes with the instructional manual, so in there you can see the size of it here. So yeah, it comes with an instructional manual. that later yep so there it is input 10 to 16 volts all right um, there's a wiring diagram here rubber grommets something um, no screws but you can find screws and this is the product here so 12 volts nominal 10 to 16 volts DC and I'll go ahead and set it up and uh, see how it works with this inverter well this uh with this battery so i was looking at the wrong <laughs> the wrong thing in there these things are uh for the clips and these are what's going to go on the inverter so yep the terminal connections seem like they're pretty well constructed so we have this piece here that goes in there and uh, this piece here so they're uh, 
seems like they're pretty solid on there so yeah just preliminary and they have the ground right there that you can use I'm not setting that up right now but eventually maybe yep all right so there's that now I'm gonna connect these guys to those leads over there I could theoretically just connect the battery directly to this thing but not right now I'll just clip on for right now okay so here's the setup I have this fan that I'm gonna be using as a test uh, load it doesn't pull much but just to test for right now it's my first time connecting it uh, also have a little LED light on here they're both plugged in um, the power on button is right by this light eventually I'll use a power strip on here but I don't have that close by right now and then I have these uh, leads here so I'm gonna clamp the negative onto that thing the positive onto positive onto that thing so right there let's see so you saw a little bit of a spark there so that's done now I'm gonna power this thing on power this thing on right here okay so you have to hold it for a little while and so now it's on so the LED came on and uh, can see the fan. There we go. So the fan is on. And uh, that's uh, that's that. So, yep, that is how I'm gonna be having alternating current in the RV without running the generator. And uh, this when it's fully charged is about two kilowatt hours so there you go two kilowatt hours I'll set up some kind of solar charging uh, eventually but that's what this is going to be